This video is designed to show you how to use Excel to randomly assign participants in, stu in a study to certain groups. So in Excel, I need to have my list of participants, um, and this can be derived from you know, a sign-up uh, sheet, or I can enter them manually, or perhaps uh, participants have filled out a survey as a pre-assessment uh, and so I download this out of my online survey administration platform. However it is, uh, I want to have it set up so that one row is each participant. Now, I'm going to assume for a moment that there's lots of data on this spreadsheet. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I want to insert a column here between the last name and the gender for the, their group assignment. So I'm going to click on C so that it highlights the entire column and then right click and choose insert. And there it gives me my new column. I'll call that group. Help if caps lock was not turned on. There we go. Now, so I've got a column for my group, but they're currently not in random order. So this is where I'm gonna use the, the formula. Let me make this a little bit larger so you can see it as it comes in. So I'm going to type equal rand open and close parentheses. So that will create a random number between 0 and 1. Then I'm just going to take and copy that formula and paste it here. I've randomly generated 50 fake participants, so I'll paste it, paste it there. And so now I've got a random number that every time I uh, do something in Excel, it's going to regenerate those random numbers. So if I were to say, uh, no, this participant's male, notice all of the, the numbers regenerate. And now, in fact, this participant's female. There, they all regenerate again. So whatever I do, I'm going to have to take this dynamic random number and turn it into a fixed value. So here's how I'm going to do that. I'm going to click in this column, then go up here to my sort and filter, and I'm going to sort smallest to largest. Now, it sorted based on the number that was in the column, and then it randomly generated a new number. So you'll notice that the group column is not currently sorted. That doesn't matter. My participants have now been sorted randomly, um, so I'm going to go ahead and use their current sort to assign them to groups. So if I have 50 participants and two groups, I'm going to want to put 25 participants in each group. So this is group one, copy that, and I'm going to paste that for 25 of my participants. Now you'll notice that as I'm highlighting, it tells me 25 rows, one column. Uh, that tells me I've highlighted 25 participants. Control V to paste, bam. Now all those participants have been assigned to group one. That means all the rest of these folks go into group two. There. And so now their group has been assigned. I'll double click this to shrink the column up. And so now, even if I sort them by some other data point, so here I've sorted them by last name, now the group assignment is still there for me. So that's fixed. It's no longer being dynamically generated. So that's how you can use Excel to randomly assign participants to groups.